you guys <laughs> hey you guys i know it's been a while it's your girl jupiter here to bring you an updated reading on the current energies with this mercury retrograde in pisces i know everybody's getting ready to lose their fucking shit <laughs> just calm down calm down your captain is speaking <laughs> You guys, I miss you all so much. Um, quickly, I have been sick. And I've had a ton of fucking, like, I, if you guys know, I just was sick. Like, I just was getting better from being sick. And then I got sick again. So, I wasn't done playing catch up from the first time I got sick. <laughs> Y'all know how that shit is. Y'all know how that shit is. So, yeah, um, just, you know, being busy trying to stay busy without biting the motherfuckers nose off <laughs> or they ear off or some shit this mercury retrograde got me going y'all i'm just saying i'm trying to stay out the way <laughs> i hope you all are being y'all's positive affirmations being the shit continue to be the change and the difference that you want to see within yourself and others around you. you gotta lead by example out here in these streets <laughs> So, you guys, I have some new decks that I'm playing, uh, that I'm going to be with, playing with today. And um, the first deck is the Mystical Manga. I think I'm saying that right. By Barbara Moore. And also B Black Moon Astrology cards. And then we have uh, Cardomancy with the playing cards. So, yes, yes, I'm going to be giving y'all a variety uh, of what's going down. <laughs> Did I say? I miss y'all <laughs> did i tell you that i missed the fuck out of y'all you guys that have been supportive holding me down looking for me checking for me i appreciate it um i really really do i had a glimpse in my comments the other day like yesterday actually and i seen someone someone was like it's been two weeks <laughs> i'm like oh oh took a butt <laughs> it has been two weeks it's been a long time so I said, damn, I didn't know uh, it was that long. Like, you know, when you're handling business, you got to handle your business. So, you guys know that the energy is very interchangeable. So, please take what resonates, leave the rest, leave it all, use for entertainment purposes, live your life. Let's go ahead and pull these calls and see what's going on. So,. I want y'all to let me know what y'all been going through. Because there's been a lot of little changes been, that, that's been happening. And um, I haven't been around to, you know, guide or ex express or share my journey through the energies. Let alone hear you all, your your energies and how you, you're getting through it. So for those that have an actual regimen and they are... You know, trying to make sure that they don't get caught in a whirlwind. Please share that. <laughs> Please share all of that goodness. Okay? We want to hear. We the people need to hear. Okay. So I'm going to split this deck. This card is big as fuck. <laughs> big as fuck. Okay. Wow. <laughs> You guys, I just shuffled this deck. And as you can see, it's the Mercury Retrograde reinvention. <laughs> we are here. So we got the energy popping. We got the energy all the way right. Because that is exactly what we're experiencing, the retrograde today, okay? Most of y'all have started to feel the energy um, shit a week ago. <laughs> A week ago, a week ago. <laughs> shit, I know I did. Like, shit, two weeks ago. Shit, I don't know. I feel like I've been on one. Um, You know, things are so... Everything is so intentional. It's so crazy. I definitely wasn't in the headspace to give readings. And, I, and, I, and I've been sick as well. So it's like, me being sick took me from being doing the readings. Because I wanted to do them. I wanted to get them out... But I knew my energy was kind of fucked up. 
So it was best that I didn't get it out. And now that I'm here to do it, it's like, okay, now is the time. Now I'm a little more ready than um, I was before. So let's see. Let's get into this. <laughs> For those that have missed my British accent, I'm here. She's here. So you guys, I'm thinking about giving my British accent a name. So I'm thinking of... Piper or Beatrix. <laughs> I'm thinking of Piper or Beatrix. So you guys have to let me know. Vote. Vote if you will. Of what you think fits my accent best. My personality best. I'm going to let you, get, you guys play a game with me. <laughs> Let's play a game. <laughs> Let's play a game. Okay. So, I'm going to hurry up. I know you guys are looking like, hurry the fuck up, please. We trying to see Juke. We trying to see Juke. Okay. All right. Okay, you guys can't quite see. Hmm. All right. So, because these are new cards, I will be using the books that come with them <laughs> that let you know what the fuck they mean and shit. I'm going to be using the book, so you guys have to bear with me from me just flipping through the pages. I'm not even going to pretend like I got it because these cards are really, really new. I will be using my intuition, of course. And the music. So for you all that's new here, thank you for joining me. I use Pandora Radio, randomly selected songs to help me deliver the messages intuitively. So our song, this is not our first song, but we have TK Kravitz Space. I've noticed that I've been getting a whole new playlist. Like Pandora done switched up the playlist with a lot of people that I've never heard of. It said when time changed, she feel like she need, or when time changed, she changed. Right now I feel like I need space. So I think that's a guy rapping or singing <laughs> and he's saying that bitch you done switched up on me and I'm gonna need a little space from your ass. So somebody could be feeling like that. That could be somebody's overall energy of just feeling like you know what I need space from this whole whatever journey that you're going on whatever journey that you've been on you feel like you you need space from something someone an energy you just feel like you really need to pull back. And that Mercury retrograde is definitely, 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 definitely making one feel that way. So, let's see. Mishaps are like knives that either serve, at, serve us or cut us as we grasp them by the blade or by the handle. That is like this little quote for the Mercury retrograde card. So... This, this is about things going wrong, things that have went wrong, things that are presently going wrong or seem like it's in a haywire, like just going crazy. Um, this retrograde is big because it's impactful because of the pipe, because of it being in Pisces. So a lot of, um, a lot of illusions are being put to bed, being put to rest. A lot of uh, mind frames and mentalities are being laid to rest. You can't no longer take certain ideas with you, um, how you view things, how things have been given to you. You're kind of seeing more of a reality to it. You can't just, it's like, it's like taking off the rose colored glasses and putting and throwing them bitches in the trash because they got you nowhere. That's what that shit is like. <laughs> um, you may have experienced a lot of 
problems in the past three weeks or just maybe even this year you could have you could be coming out of experience a lot of problems a lot of mishaps a lot of miscommunications um being careless having careless motherfuckers around you people showing up and then canceling themselves themselves out or you wanting to cancel their ass out having eruptions having quarrels having beef like bitch i bite your nose off <laughs> bitch i bite your nose off and your ear off that type of shit like i just said in the beginning of this reading like i've been feeling like biting them up like his face off like <laughs> i'm gonna be all the way real jupiter's funny jupiter's love and light and all of that but jupiter <laughs> jupiter off with their heads at the end of the fucking day okay it's off with their heads <laughs> um you're trying to ride the wave of this energy because it's not it's not a very favorable energy for real this shit is coming with a lot of things that need to be fixed and there is highlight highlighting this time period is highlighting a lot of things that need to be fixed to you like you know like you're you're basically seeing things as being off more things that you were able to kind of like for example the soulmate journey for those of you that are in this soulmate journey and you're you you're looking for the return of someone or so for someone to set things straight you're kind of now at this point your energy is facing forward and leaving a lot of the bullshit behind because now you're noticing things as being bullshit like you had on the rose colored glasses and you had on a nose pincher where you couldn't not only could you not see the bullshit but you couldn't smell the bullshit type of shit so now you're like i can't help but to smell this shit and i can't help but to see this shit so why pretend why fake it and and pretend that this shit ain't real like it is or the way i see it so a lot of you are trusting or learning to trust your intuition more to trust your your thoughts more um that's your this is the overall energy right now and and if this is a vice versa uh energy that is applied to someone else this is what they're doing as well i mean you can't escape this shit for those who think that they they hunkering down and they you know they don't they're not going to really experience this it's like your mind is still going through shit you ain't gotta not you don't have to talk to people or you know this past person pops up and and now you have to figure out what to do with that and because a lot of people are like oh don't don't talk to any past people in the retrograde because you know they come back with rose colored glasses on most most of the time retrograde re comebacks be on some why isn't your energy why haven't i felt your energy i just need your energy it's not about healing it's about them it's about pacifying a feeling that this this person has as to why they're returning back to you so a lot of people feel like oh you know don't talk to nobody you know you'll be safe and that's not fucking true because the retrograde is here it shows up and it shows the fuck out and and it doesn't care who it shows out on if you're not picking up the vibe, you're not picking up the wave, you will sink, like you will drown, you will inhale some fucking water type shit. So for even for those people that are just had that have been stuck in this mind frame, vice versa, as far as the other person that you're dealing with, because this Mercury retrograde is coming through and it's doing doing a clean, it's hitting a clean sweep. You can't you can't continue to think like that. You can't continue to act like that. You can't continue to go this way. And if you do, there will be hell to pay. Trust and believe. If you fight against that current, there will be hell to pay. So a lot of you and these people may have you may be experiencing that hell because you haven't really quite let go of a, a mind frame or mindset. You're being forced now, but this is coming with a lot of pain. It's coming with a lot of 
not so good feelings um, of about either somebody, someone, um, an environment. This is the switch up. This is definitely the the, the fucking switch up. Where you where you thought you could get away with something and continue to think about something and you know to or, or or to continue to think about someone. This is now this time is coming in like no this person that logic logic says that that's not that's not where you want to be. Logic is showing you that you have on rose colored glasses. You have on that nose pincher. Hell, you have on a blindfold. All over top of your fucking rose colored glasses. <laughs> this is that energy that's coming through that's like, yeah, take that shit on off because it's still gonna be what it is, even with your eyes closed. Even with you daydreaming and pretending that it means something else, it's still gonna mean what it means. So, that's your overall energy. <laughs> so, we have the Page of Swords here. Now, what this is asking somebody to do is to recognize your own intelligence. Be observant of your your intuition. How far you've gotten and you've came off of your own intuition. It never steered you wrong. God will never steer you wrong. The spirit of Elohim, El Sadai, will never lead you wrong. So this is asking you to tap into that intuition tap into that reserve energy that you have that keeps you going i think in the past you've been either you or someone else has been um immature because it's like you're trying not to it's like somebody is trying not to like they're really, really trying not to accept or take responsibility for their past actions. And if this is you, it's like you're not trying to take responsibility for how you got to this point. Like some of this shit, yeah, this some nigga, some bitch did you completely wrong. Were a complete fucking asshole. Didn't deserve your love, your attention, or any of that shit. But you have to take responsibility for accepting that energy as long as you did. That's a whole healing within itself. That has nothing, that healing right there has nothing to do with the return of this person or this person to give you clarity through, through speech or some bullshit that they want to tell you as to why they couldn't man up or be a woman enough to make sure you didn't feel the way you felt because of whatever they did. I think you've been trying to do a lot of things that like distract you from um, thinking about the things that got you here. It's like both both people is there's this other energy of a of a masculine energy and there's this feminine energy. The masculine energy has been doing everything in their power to not take responsibility or to even think about the shit they've been constantly this person has been constantly trying to not think about what's going on because with the three of with the three of clubs down here this person lost confidence they lost their confidence or they never fucking had it um they broke a bond that was solid they broke a bond that was beautiful that was good that made them feel good and now all they have is sadness and resentment because they they parted ways with something that they that um catered to their to their heart to their to the love of them someone who was team team this person like if this is you being team a teammate a really strong teammate for somebody this person is now looking at the situation and knowing that damn this person meant me no harm they would have never did me wrong. 
this person now knows like damn they t they're taking off the rose colored glasses they're taking off the rose colored glasses and now they're starting to smell their own shit like damn i did do that and we know this is the this is the thing this is what they've been doing but the retrograde is coming in to make sure motherfucker you don't get to go backwards from this you don't get to pretend from this point on it's like before they had realizations that okay yeah i might have fucked up or and then they'll go back into purposely doing these things to purposely make them forget about what happened what they did but now this person wants to reinvent themselves they want to change who they've been they want to come at it in a different way because the person that they were before is simple math. The person that they, they were before brought them nothing but pain. It brought them sadness. Their immaturity brought them sadness. So, and then with you, you not wanting to see the, the, the situation for what it was brought you sadness as well. Um... I think you definitely saw the breakup. You saw where the sadness was at. But I, I think once you realize how what actions you actually played in it, in the, the disillusion of self, of how you actually looked at this person, I think that's causing a sadness for you. It's causing an irritation. It's causing an offset, an, an, an upset. Offset! <laughs> bad and bougie. Yeah, my bitches is bad and bougie. Okay, my bad. Um, but yeah, oh, the song. I'm like, I am singing, right? Um, A1 featuring Chris Brown, always. Okay. All right. So, with the Ten of Swords, okay. All right, I picked that card up easy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she got 10, 10 whole swords in her fucking back. And she's bleeding out of her back. <laughs> this is really dramatic. <laughs> this is a little more dramatic than the, uh, the other tarot decks. So... This is, this is a pain. Oh, not, I hear the song saying, you're always on my mind. So this is a pain. This is, this is a deep fucking betrayal, a pain that is not going anywhere. Um, it could be, the reason why it's not going nowhere is because it's, it's designed to, it's, it's like, once again, taking off that rose colored glass taking off that nose pincher where you where you can smell the shit now this is somebody realizing that no matter what they did no matter what they can do no matter what the situation is now they can't change it i think a lot of people have thought that they could change this situation or they could will this situation to be more than um the outcome to be a better outcome than what they have now this is asking for you to have courage to see through this shit if you can't see through it now if you're not if you're not on the same page as the retrograde right now and you're trying to fight the current it's this is saying be brave you can do it <laughs> be brave I think for the other person that this energy um, is registering for, the masculine energy, it's, I think the person, they, they want to, because I have the six of uh, hearts down here, so someone's being nostalgic, daydreaming, night dreaming, thinking about something that, a love that was lost. Thinking about this breakup because of their boredom, their their inability to accept responsibility for their actions. 
them constantly thinking that an opportunity will present itself where they can change the outcome of this situation. But um, that retrograde is coming in like you're wasting your fucking time. And that goes for both people. Because y'all know for months and, and shit, for some of y'all years, you have been expecting this individual to return. Say something to you. Start this magnif- this 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 magnificent love. Skip up into the sunset. Um, ride fucking rainbows and pick four leaf clovers. You know, some bullshit. And this is asking both of y'all to just let it go. I know a lot of y'all ain't gonna want to hear that shit. But where can you go with ten swords, ten whole swords sticking out your fucking back? <laughs> where you gonna go bitch where you gonna go my nigga where you gonna go nowhere so this is not getting you nowhere it's like take what you've learned and move forward because what you've learned is a lot you have because there was this great ending there's a great beginning somewhere there's a great fucking beginning somewhere. I think... I feel like someone is... Um, it's, like this, it's like this chick pulling out these swords in her back. And then she starts to try to heal her wounds. But they're on her back. And she's solo. Like, she can't... It's not like she can go to somebody and be like, can you help me get these swords out my back? It's like, you got to do it yourself. And it's going to take time. It's going to take time not only to pull them out and try to feel as less pain as possible when the fastest way is like... It's like ripping a Band-Aid off. Do the shit as fast as possible. And then take the time, all the time that you need to try to heal and close up these wounds the best you can because you have your own back. The universe, God, Elohim, Yeshua, El Sadai, they have your back. You just have to allow time and your your cycle of what your life is going through, like what your life is putting you through. You have to let that heal these wounds and help heal these wounds for you. You're going into your mind and, and thinking about the love that you have with somebody and being with them. and um, But you know now it's like a dead end. It's, it's, it's done. You, you're now, if you put any more effort towards the situation, you'll, you will be wasting your time. So it's asking you to accept the outcome for what it is. Like, see it for what it is accept it for what it is because you you're you're transforming because of it i mean you can't help but to you can't help but to you're definitely um you're definitely you definitely have transformed because of your pain of course you're you you will you will be rewarded for your efforts of just trying to um trying to hang in there in a way it's like there's a reward here although there's this there's this pain and there's this there's these problems there's a reward because Assuming that you let this go the way you're supposed to, you're being forced to by the re re retrograde. Just be brave. Be brave. You have to. You have to. We have the Six of Pentacles here. So with the Six of Pentacles, as you can see, there's this young man here with his chips up. <laughs> and as you can see, he got the hands out. People wanting wanting him to help him, help them. Um
This is about This is about someone holding all the coins, holding all the cards. This is about somebody with a, with decisions. Making a decision, making a, a judgment call about something that they need to make a decision on. So what this is talking about, when it comes to the retrograde and this energy of trying to, un, you know, unlift the, the, the veil over your eyes, take the rose colored glasses off, the reward that I just spoke of, this card is representing what you could have if you go the right way. You have a, a decision to make because you have free will. You can choose to stay in this energy. Although you will be fighting a vicious fucking current, you can stay in that shit. <laughs> you can stay right on in that shit. God never leaves you. So even with you staying through that, you'll still have you'll still have your you'll still have a life raft come in. You'll still have um, a help, you know, some something to help pull you ashore, to help bring you, you know, you you can go through this shit one more time, one more again, you can. But this card right here is saying that you can choose not to, and be abundant in that choice. You can choose not to stay in this situation, and it and it and it and you have to be brave because it may not be a good feeling, you know, it may not be a good feeling, y'all. You have to, shit, come on. All right. I'm looking at his face and he has this, y'all know that face. And I'm shaking like a motherfucker. But there's this, there's this piece there. There's this piece that for some of you that know you can go either way with this shit, you know you can stay in your old energy, but you know that won't do you no good. You're using your intuition enough to know, like, this. that's not going to do me no good. Me pretend, pretending to see this person in this light, in this, in this you know, um, untainted way, is doing nothing for me. A lot of you, a lot of you are being... Um, you're being coerced to move the fuck on. The universe, God, Elohim, El Sadai, they're all all I mean they're all the the energy of source God is propelling you into your the future of what it's gonna be like without this energy. And you know it's I think it's I think I think you're just sad because you know you're leaving behind something that you held dear to, like you 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 really believed in for a long time. So it's a sad feeling. Right now with the eight of diamonds being underneath this card. It may not seem like the biggest change because this is about a small change, but a change being there that is very, very fulfilling because you, you leave behind something that was supposed to be left behind. So with the Six of Pentacles, it's like you can choose to give to the left side, which is the same old energy, the same old people the same old outlook or you can choose to give to the right side where it's it's a little scary because it's new but because it's new it can't it has to bring blessings it has to it's, that's why you're called to be brave be brave because it ain't gonna look all that great walking into it because you i mean i imagine one is going to feel agitated hurt sad because you're still you still pulling these swords out your back. Nobody nobody said you about to be the happiest ever 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 right now tomorrow, but you could be. 
because you have committed to taking these fucking swords out your bag. So you know you can give to the left or you know you can give to the right. Either way, you have a decision to make. And the same thing with this this other energy, this masculine energy, which you guys have to take it how it goes. Like this could be your energy and they and whoever you're dealing with could have a feminine energy or you could or you could know who the feminine energy belongs to while you're the masculine. But it's the same decision. Somebody pulling the swords out of their back that they put there because they was bored. The retrograde comes in and says it's time to redo this shit over. It's time to realize that you fucked up and it's time to redo it over because you can't sit up here and constantly be in daydream wonderland of this relationship that you fucked over that you fucked up you decided this person decided to go left when they could have went right but now they're being asked to have bravery through this situation through this decision have more bravery now you decided you you made the decision to go left already so now it's time to go right don't be scared. This person knows that they are being called to move in a completely different direction. They're being asked to reinvent themselves. That means death to the old self. Have a whole fucking funeral service for the old self. And this is what this person is going through. So as you can see, you guys, as you are being pushed into letting something go that you've been holding on to for a while, letting the the whole the whole vision of it go, it hurt. Yeah, it hurt. <laughs> Which I hurt. I hurt. I said <laughs> it's okay. Be brave. You done been hurt. You done been sad. Walking away from this situation, and even if this is a job, even if this is a home, like whatever the fuck it could be, like, I mean, it's love. But you could love your motherfucking job. You could love your home like most people do. If it's time to move on, it's time to move forward and let the shit go, that's what you are being called to do. And if you go against that, just know that you're going to feel the static of that shit later on. Because it wasn't the move that you were supposed to make. And with the, the, the full moons and new moons and retrogrades and lunar eclipses and solar eclipses. Like whatever the fuck is coming up next, it will make you move your motherfucking feet. It will make you move. So whether you do it now or later, you're going to, you're going to feel this shit later. So you can choose to stay in this energy and feel this shit later. Or you can choose to move the fuck out of it and look forward to better days. Because you have a second decision. You have a second option. You can choose to go right and have everything potentially go right in your life because you're on the right path now. You're on you're 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 taking the retrograde in energy and you're reinventing yourself. You're moving out of this stagnant, immature mind frame that keeps you sad and depressed because somebody didn't do what you wanted them to do accepting that pulling the fucking swords out your back at the same time you 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 daydreaming too like you miss this person you want to be with this person or or even just like i said if it's a home or a job you know that you you're used to the the money you, you, the check that they was cutting you or you're used to your neighbors and you have this love for your environment but you know like I'm like I'm I'm actually I've outgrown this space making the decision knowing that you have a decision to make you can choose to stay since you since you're going to be this fucking sad over leaving this shit behind and since you like the way swords feel in your back you can choose to continue to deal with this shit or you can choose to go right you can choose to move right and accept the the gains that come from it. They're going to be small now, but how far are you away from the 9 and the 10? This is the 8. How far are you away from having full completion, though? 
So you got to take those those baby steps, y'all. You got to take those movements. And then it, I, feel, I feel like I can't even say baby steps. Baby steps was a year ago. <laughs> like, baby steps was a long fucking time ago. Because if you made it to this point, feeling the way you feel in this retrograde, it's because you're cho- you have chose not to let go of something that you were supposed to let go of a long time ago. But you're still right on time. So don't ever think that you're behind or you gotta, you know, it's too late because you're still right on time for whatever read, for whatever you've been through in your life, for whatever your your fucking blueprint is of your life, you still on time with that shit. So you guys, 14 minutes. Jeez Louise. <laughs> this might be the longest video I've ever done. But yes, you guys, um, I hope this resonates. I hope it helps. I hope it guides. I hope it leads. I hope it protects. I hope it shelters. I hope it loves you. Get you where you're supposed to go. Know that you got somewhere to go. Know that you got somewhere to be. You ain't got to rush, but you got to make your fucking feet move. And y'all all strong enough to do it for whoever this resonates for. You're strong. You're brave. Tell yourself that. That is your affirmation. That is your, your your daily mantra. You're strong. I am. I have the spirit of I am with me. Nothing, and I do mean fucking nothing, can come in between what's rightfully mine, what's rightfully in my path. And that's what you tell yourself. Although you, you, you know... You might be <laughs> you might be still hurt because of the swords in your back, but shit, who wouldn't be? Who wouldn't be hurt with ten whole swords in their back? I'm just saying. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, you guys are loved heavily, deeply, big love, big shit. I love the fuck out of you all. Um for those once again that have been high supporters of me of, of my journey. Thank you so much. You 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 guys pulled me back in when I'm supposed to be pulled back in. And you guys help me out. I, I go through this. I'm a, I'm a person too. You know, I'm, I'm here going through this journey in life, just like everybody else. And we all help each other. So I hope that I can help, help, um, someone out there. I hope, I, I hope that I've helped you. <laughs> uh, a diva, diva, diva. <laughs> I'm like Daffy Duck right now. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I love the fuck out of y'all. I'll talk to y'all soon.